I'll do but I mean conclusion. I mean intro. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Kaz. I talk all about DIY budget-friendly content creation, you guys. And today's video is all about how I edit photos on my phone. Let's get it. If you haven't already checked out, I already have a video all about how I edit photos on my computer using Adobe Lightroom. So now I'll show you guys how I do very similar edits on my phone in case you are not using an Adobe Lightroom computer program and you have a phone available to you. Then these are some methods you guys can use to get some pretty cool photos on your phone and sometimes actually use some of these phone things on a regular basis so super excited to show you guys we're going to be using three pretty cool apps we're going to be using lightroom visco facetune as well as prequel i can't count that as four obviously we're going to be using four pretty cool apps you guys to edit photos so i selected my favorite images y'all and first i'm going to edit inside of the lightroom mobile app so that i can edit the color and everything make sure it looks good then i'm going to go inside of this go so i can add my favorite filter and then i'm going to go inside of prequel so i can add some effects let's let's get it all right so i'm looking for light room light room so Lightroom on the mobile is dope, you guys, because it has like the same things that I have on my phone. So I'm actually going to go into all photos here because I created an album, my favorites album. So I'm going to add from my camera roll, camera roll favorites, and looks like we can do one at a time. We're going to kind of skip over these for now. Let's start in lighting. So the exposure, I think we're going to leave that where it is. Contrast, we're also going to leave that where it is because the filter I'm going to add in a second here will do that for me. I'm going to actually take away the shadows just a tiny bit. I'm not going to play around in Lightroom too, too much, guys, because if you watch my How I Edit Photos video and you see how I edit on Lightroom, I actually usually add the filter first and then I modify the filter. Um, But for this, I kind of want to just make sure it doesn't look too too yellowy so i'm coming in just to enhance a few things of course you know i gotta take away that clarity and that texture all right that's pretty much all i'm gonna do there you guys all right y'all so i'm gonna bring these photos into visco visco did a recent update and i'm stir sure not still not sure how I feel about it, if I like it, if you guys are OG Visco users like me, comment below what y'all think, because I don't know. So let's edit one of the ones from my, um, my just regular camera here. And so HB2 is typically my go-to. Some of my other recent ones are here, so you have like some different black and white. Shoot is pretty cool in black and white. But we're gonna go to HB2. <laughs> and then from there, I usually do my adjustments right here. So this is where I just like exposure. I'm actually gonna turn down the exposure a little bit. Uh, I'll turn down like contrast a little bit. Sharpens cool. Clarities kill. Saturation. I'm actually gonna tone it down a tiny bit. I'm getting really orangey vibes. So, I'm going to go into white balance and kind of balance that out a bit. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and export this image here. Let's save as a draft. Take the drafts. Save the camera roll. Add some fun effects, y'all. Pretty cool where you at. Be cool where you at. There she is. Alright. <laughs> so I was playing around with my cyberpunk photos earlier. So we're going to go to add. To add this baby in. I want to show you what I want to show the world. So we're going to go into effects. And then this is where you guys can kind of just click through and there's a bunch of different effects like this looks really cool in disco there's polaroid vhs like literally you just click through the different effects and there's different versions of each effect and then if you like an effect for an example for example but you're like i don't really like all the stuff on it you can click it and then you can modify it so i can say 
there's not enough stars here and i can bump up the intensity i can bump up the size or bring it down and literally rotate it i can take away the filter let's say i really like visco filter so i don't want their filter then i have the option to really manipulate that like you guys can go in and really change up any of their effects which is pretty cool and there's a ton a ton and they work on videos so that's pretty dope as well so you guys can just kind of flip through see what you like play around with it come up with something so pretty cool completely optional you guys but fun option if you guys want to add different effects into your photos so we're going to play around do some speed editing Oh, you know what? Let's take a close-up and go into Facetune. So if I go into my Facetune app, which obviously I never use because it's not even downloaded, so <laughs> come back to that in a second. Try to guess me out, still I hide. Wanna see me fall, but I still touch skies. Had enough, call you down. Try to fill me up with the same old lies. I'm mindful of it all, I got a mindful of it all I'ma rise when I fall, and I'ma ride for my dogs And people say they want the best for me I'm only moved by integrity, a lot of pastors think they really Alright, so Facetune redownloads you guys So I'm gonna edit one of my close-ups on Facetune Just so you guys how you can um, modify like facial stuff I'm not really much of a face editor <laughs> Full play around with that so some of the features that I did that I do use sometimes is smooth obviously to smoothen out the skin. I try to use just the one droplet so it's not too artificial looking, but you just use your finger and you can smooth out any areas of the skin that you would lock. Celebrities gotta rise from me, do the math and divide from me. Alright, and then I'll go into details. And I'll use that on my like eyes and like my eyelashes because it really like makes them pop. I mean, you can even use them on your eyebrows, you know, if you want. Anything that you want to really like pop, be a bit more bold, you can use detail. And it does that very, very well. And then you can do that same thing like with your hair even. If you want to have like more defined curls up to you. Looks cool. I'm actually gonna erase it from my hair. <laughs> Just because I was trying to go for a more softer look on my hair. Leave my edges out. So yeah, that's just some of the stuff that I do inside of that, you guys. If I had if I was smiling, I would have um did like the whitening. If I had I guess I have a little blemish here, you can use the patch tool for that. So you can click patch and then whatever you want to cover up and then whatever you want to cover it up with. You can do something like that and then smooth that after. So no one can see it. <laughs> so there's a lot of really cool things you guys can do inside of Facetune. And then you'll just save to camera roll. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Bring that baby into Visco. And you can ride the waves, but don't trip when the tide's coming. Guess me up if you want. I'm on the road to riches. How you expecting the stunt? When All right, y'all. So we have some edits. Pretty fun phone edits on here that look like they honestly came up my camera. <laughs> All right, you guys. So that is how you can take and edit DIY iPhone photo shoot, you guys, in the studio. I had a lot of fun doing this video. I'm definitely gonna play around more with editing photos on my phone. I typically just go straight to my computer, so we'll definitely check out some of those features. I think it's pretty cool that Lightroom has a lot of the same features, you guys. But I hope that you guys get a chance to play around with, take some photos on your phone. Like I say, you don't always need a camera off bat to start creating, so definitely, definitely get started with your phone, you guys. But I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you use any of these techniques, do a DIY iPhone photo shoot, then definitely hashtag work that fam on Instagram so I can check it out. To to join the work that fam all you gotta do is press the subscribe button to support my channel all you gotta do is put a thumbs up and i'll see you on the next video bye